LSU beat writer for NOLA.com, the Times pick Unum with columnist Ron Higgins. We just watched LSU beat Florida 35-28 to in a game that looked like the Tigers might uh, win going away, but they ended up having to hang on and, and use uh, one of a Les Miles special fake field goal for the winning points. Um, it, it's probably not exactly the way LSU would want to win a game, but given uh, the way college football is and how hard victories are, it's good. LSU uh, goes to 6-0. and They're probably going to move up in the polls, uh, maybe move up in the polls. Um, but they got Western Kentucky next week, then an open date, then the November gauntlet. So this, this which begins with Alabama and continues with Arkansas, Ole Miss, and Texas A&M. This team is um, improving in some areas, but uh, where are they right now, Ron? You think they're they're ready? Well, I mean, I mean, there's no perfect team in the SEC right now, as far as as far as getting everything right. There just isn't. Everybody's still got stuff they got to fix. The LSU's problems are obvious. I mean, I mean, but but compared to last year at this time, I mean, it should be ecstatic at where they are. I mean, they got a a quarterback who can throw the ball, who can make plays. I mean, the, the play he made with five seconds left in the first half, Brandon Harris to Malachi Dupree, the throw he made on the run 50 yards in the air for a touchdown that, you know, I mean, that's like, that's Cam Newton-like. I mean, that's what, that's what it looks like. And then you got a running back like Leonard Fournette. He didn't break one tonight. Oh, my God, he didn't break a front tonight. But it was a, a Herschel Walker-like night in, in the fact that, Many times at Georgia and Herschel Walker in the early 80s, they would control, try to control a game in the second half by getting ball a bunch to them. And, you know, they tried to drive across the finish line that way. They, they barely got there. Mm-hmm. I thought LSU got a, a, a little conservative the second half. They ran the, they, uh, they ran the ball 22 of 29 plays in the second half, and 16 of the 22 runs were, were Leonard Fournette. And I thought that they, the way they finished that second quarter – they, they just backed off the passing a little bit too much. But all said and done, man, who had Trent Domain in the pool to be the hero? <laughs> that was something else. A fake field goal to Trent Domain. He ended up being the second leading rusher with that 16-yard run for the touchdown. Uh, it's got to be the, a huge throw for he said He said he almost blacked out. That's, that was really funny. He said he almost <laughs> blacked out before he got to the end zone. Um, but it, there are also uh, some uh, deficiencies that, that, that cropped up again. LSU continues to find different ways in special teams to screw this game up. Tredavious White goes and tries to field a punt he should have stayed away from in the, from the beginning. He, he started to get away from it, then he tried to field it, and then it ended up being a muff. That gave Florida a touchdown. And then uh, the, the punting, I don't know what's going on with Jamie Keene. He kicked one right down the middle. And and uh, it gave uh, uh, Florida a great shot at a return. It wasn't a very high kick, and LSU's defense couldn't get down there, and it just it, it tied the game up. So LSU has a lot to work on, and like you said, not every team is perfect, but uh, there are some things that are going to cost them uh, when they go through that November gauntlet. It's amazing. It's the same thing every week. I mean, it's the same thing, Rick, the coverage. And then the, the, the pass bus, guys aren't just open. They're by themselves. I mean, there's nobody near them. Uh, and, I mean, those are just outrageous buffs, not like somebody within five yards of you. I mean, they're, they're lonely out there. And, uh, and the kick coverage is just absolutely atrocious every week, the, the kind of breakdowns they have. And I don't know what Travis White, Travis White was thinking. Maybe he's thinking that the Billy Cannon getting the high bounce for an 89-yard <laughs> touchdown. But no, you know, it just it was like one of those bad hop shortstops ground balls where he just should have got away because it took a hop right at him and he went right through his hands. And uh, you know, it's funny the LSU's turnovers this year. I mean, but both of them have, have caused touchdowns, I mean, and, and they haven't had many. But you know, they, the, the ones they have is, have cost them. But right now, you can't complain. They're unbeaten going to Western Kentucky, a team that is six and one and has a, a passer that thrown for uh, like three thousand yards. So. They're a pretty good team. Yeah, they got, they're going to have a real test. They can't just uh, a lollygag through that game. But we'll see how it goes, and we'll be right here the whole way on NOLA.com. For Ron Higgins, I'm Jim Kleinpeter, and we'll see you on NOLA.com.